Hello again, crafty friends. It's Heather Rui here, and today's video is all about the new paper pouncers from Picket Fence Studios. I was recently sent these from Picket Fence Studio and decided to film creating with them just in case I love them and wanted to share. I'm really loving them and wanted to give you an introduction to them. So, this bright rainbow pack is a pack of nine. The colors are pink, red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green light blue, dark blue, and purple. There is also a neutrals pack available in black, brown, and gray, but today we're gonna to focus on the rainbow pack. The cap twists off to reveal the paper pouncer. They are very lightweight and the foam is very soft. Before I share more information, let's start creating. Off screen, I die cut the largest feather from the fanciful feathers dies from white cardstock several times. I wanted to create an ombre look on each of the feathers so I will be blending with three colors of ink in each color family. I'll be using the positively saturated inks from Simon Says Stamp. So let's start with pink. I removed the pouncer from the case and dabbed up and down onto the die cut. I started with the lightest color, then applied the medium shade towards the bottom in the middle of the die cut, and finally the darkest shade along the bottom. I repeated this process with each of the colors. So this is what the paper pouncers are meant for. They are a tool for direct ink application on intricate die cuts and stencils. Are they intended to replace the blending brushes? No, this is a high quality sponge and ink applicator, not a blending tool. They are a quick and easy way to apply ink, including embossing ink. You pounce the ink directly onto the surface rather than blending. This is a high quality sponge that will not tear or snag on delicate die cuts or stencils. I really like how lightweight they are, and it would be ideal for someone with hand issues like arthritis. I also like that they come in a case to keep the ink color contained. I find them very easy to use, and they give great coverage. To clean them, you can pounce them on a scratch piece of paper or wipe them with a dry cloth. I wouldn't recommend submerging them in water as the sponge may expand. Also, notice that I did all the pouncing on a piece of white cardstock. I cut it with a basic rectangle die, and now I have a fun background panel or a piece that I can die cut from. I chose to die cut from it and added quick color to some more die cuts. I finished the ombre feathers card off camera. Here is the final card. I created the background on this slimline card by applying gray ink through the new flower burst stencil. Adhered the ombre feathers down, and then finished it off with the slimline happy birthday word die. So there you have it, a look at the new paper pouncers from Picket Fence Studios. Thank you so much for watching. I've linked to all the supplies in the description below. Please hit the like and subscribe button and click the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos from me. Have a great day and happy crafting.